Question 1. Find the sum. So we have to find the addition of these following rational numbers. Sum in mathematics have two definitions. The first one is addition that we are going to do in these questions. And second one is the principle that you deposit in your bank on which bank gives you periodic interest. So in this we are going to add 5 over 4 plus in bracket minus 11 over 4. So you have learned in your previous classes that first of all you have to open bracket. Later classes you must do it in your brain but in first question we will explain it in depth. So 5 by 4 plus minus is minus 11 over 4. Now this process you have to do in mind for the rest of the questions. Since the denominator is same you don't have to take any LCM. You are writing 4 as a common denominator. So 4 ones are 4, 1 5 is 5. Minus as it is 4 ones are 4, 1 11 is 11. Now divided by 4 as it is and you know this is a basic subtraction. Greater sign is of negative therefore negative comes and you subtract that is 6. This thing is further reducible. We have to write rational number in standard form and we have learned in previous exercise that what is standard form. So 2 to the 4 minus 3 to the 6. So minus 3 over 2 is your required sum for first part. Now here at the first look you have different denominators. So we need to take LCM. 5 3 is a 15. Now 15 is a common LCM. Now we have to convert these rational numbers to equivalent fractions. So we do this way. 3 5 is a 15. 5 5 is a 25. Plus 5 3 is a 15. 3 3 is a 9. And 25 plus 9 is 34 over 50. Not further reducible to standard form. Because it is already in standard form. That's second. Third. Minus 9 over 10 plus 22 over 15. Again. We have to take LCM because we cannot add straight away. In order to add straight away, the denominators must be common. So LCM makes denominators common. Now 30. Now how you can find LCM in mind? Take the bigger number out of both and multiply it with its factors. So 15 to the 30. Do we have some factor that corresponds to 30? Well, yes, 10 3 is a 30. So therefore, it is least common multiple. That is smallest common multiple. Now 30, 10 3 is a 30, 9 3 is a 27 and minus sign is also there because minus plus is minus in multiplication. Now plus as it is 15 2 is a 30 and 22 2 is a 44. Again first write divided by 30 as it is. Now bigger sign is of positive and we have to subtract. So 17 over 30 is the required answer. Fourth, before moving any further as we have learned in previous exercise minus minus when they are dividing we can cut them that is they get cancelled out therefore this whole rational number becomes positive now we have 3 over 11 plus 5 over 9 now LCM is 99 because denominators are not same and again how you can find it 11 9 is a 99 and 9 11 is a 99 this is your LCM now writing LCM as common 11 9 is a 99 9 3 is a 27 this was eliminated. Now plus 9 11 is a 99, 11 5 is a 55. Now you add them up. That is 82 over 99. That's your fourth. Fifth, minus 8 over 19 plus minus 2 over 57. Now we will do it in mind. That is plus minus is minus and we are taking LCM straight away. So what is the LCM? You take the first number and find its factors. First try with 1 only. 57 into 1 is 57. Can 57 divided by 19? Well, yes. 19 3 is a 57. So 19 3 is a 57. 8 3 is a 24. Minus sign is there. And this was minus because plus minus is minus that you did in your mind. So 57 1 is a. So 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. Now signs are same. You add them up. That is minus 26 over 57. That's fifth. Here you don't have to do anything. Because... When you add 0 to any number, the number values is retained. That is minus 2 over 3. Now the last part. This is a mixed fraction. First of all, let's convert into simple fraction or in this case rational number. Because we are dealing with integers in ratios. That gives you rational number. So 3 to the 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. And fix minus sign as it is. So 7 over 3. Plus... 5 was a 20, 20 plus 3 is 23 over 5. Now, 
we got the question like we have here different denominators lcm is 15 right 3 is a 15 and 3 5 is a 15 so lcm is 15 writing it as common now 3 5 is a 15 and 5 7 is a 35 with negative sign plus 5 3 is a 15 and 3 into 23 is a 69 how you can do it in your mind well from here 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 is a 6 now different signs but sign is of greater value that is positive therefore your answer will be positive but we have to subtract it whenever different signs are there so 5 4 is 9 therefore 4 and 6 minus 3 is 3 not further reducible already in standard form well this completes your first question question second find in this case we are going to subtract these rational numbers first part is 7 over 24 minus 17 over 36 now we don't have to find sum we have to find subtraction different denominators you have to take LCM the shortest way is to do like this take the bigger number multiply it well if you multiply it with 1 you'll get 36 but 36 is not divided by 24 exactly go with 2 36 into 2 is 72 and 24 3 is a 72 as well therefore it is your least common multiple LCM 24 3 is a 7 3 is a 21 minus 36 2 is a 17 2 is a 34 now simple subtraction it is a 13 since it was negative with a greater number therefore you have to write negative not further reducible that's a required subtraction now here second we'll do it in mind because we have studied in previous parts well these are the rules which govern these mind steps here we are dealing with minus minus and we are multiplying bracket means multiplication so minus minus is plus well we have also discussed in previous exercises whenever you have similar sign that is plus plus minus minus answer is always going to be plus in case of multiplication and division as well whereas if you have different signs in case of multiplication or division you are going to get negative that is the trick to remember this so 5 over 63 minus minus is plus 6 over 21 take the bigger number 63 into 1 is 63 can 63 be divided by 21 well yes 21 3 is a okay now here required lcm is 63 63 1 is a 1 into 5 is a 5 here it was plus because minus minus is plus 21 3 is a 6 3 is a 18 now add it 23 over 63 not further reducible third minus 6 over 13 minus minus is plus you know how it came that is 7 over 15 now lcm well you have learned in your sixth standard that lcm of co-prime numbers whose hcf is only one is its multiplication so we are going to multiply it and how you can multiply it in your brain well by distributive law of addition that is 15 into 10 plus 3 so 15 into 10 will be 150 and 15 threes are how much 45 so 150 plus 45 gives you 195 so 13 15 are 195 and 15 6 are 90 with negative sign here it was minus minus plus and 15 13s are 195 13 7 are 91 again if you forget tables you can do here 7 3 is a 21 2 is your carry 7 1 is a 7 plus 2 is 9 now simple greater number is having positive sign so positive and you are going to subtract them so 1 over 195 fourth minus 3 over 8 minus 7 over 11 again 88 is your LCM 11 8 is a 88 and 88 can be divided with 8 by exact factor now 8 11 11 3 is a 33 negative sign minus 11 8 is a 88 8 sounds a 56 same sign you're going to add them up and put the sign that is minus 89 6 plus 3 is 9 5 plus 3 is 8 so that's your answer for fourth part last part mixed fraction solve it 9 to the 18 18 plus 1 is 19 and attach minus while solving it just forget negative sign and minus 6 and we have studied in this chapter that if we have a real number it means it has denominator 1 divided by 1 now not same take the LCM 9 9 ones are 9 1 into minus 19 is minus 19 minus 1 9 is a 9 9 6 are 54 now same sign therefore negative and you're going to add them up 9 plus 4 is 13, 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1, remainder 7. So minus 73 over 9. That is a fifth of a question number second. Question number third, find the product. That is, product means multiplication. We are going to multiply these rational numbers. This is the Bodmas rule we were talking about. 
first is B for bracket, O for off, off means multiplication, D for division, M for multiplication, E for addition, as for subtraction. And priority decreases along this direction, that in every question, for an instance, first one. We have this bracket, so first of all, we will solve it before solving any other operation like multiplication. But as you grow up, you can do this in your mind. So which we are going to do now. First, we watch within brackets. There is no other operation than minus. So it is a simple bracket. This can be opened very easily and straight away. Then moving to multiplication. Well, you have learned in this exercise that how to multiply rational numbers. You take numerators, multiply them, and you take denominators and multiply them separately and write them in your answer. So 9 7 is a 63. Here it is plus. Yeah, plus minus is minus. Different signs, minus will always come. Same sign, plus will come. So with this, let's do the questions. First one is done. Second, 9 3 is a 27, plus minus is minus. Over 10 into 1, because here it is understood. Divided by 1. That's a second. Now third, 6 9 is a 54. And 11 5 is a 55. Plus minus is minus. Fourth one, 3 2 is a 6, 7 5 is a 35. And plus minus is minus. Here, no signs. All are positive. 3 2 is a 6, divided by 11 5 is a 55. Sixth one. Now here we have two different approaches. First two with the approach we are doing in previous parts. 5 3 is a 15 plus minus is minus. 5 3 is a 15 minus plus is minus because different signs. So this can be cancelled out here. And this is also cancelling like this. And you get one. The other approach is we don't move to this operation. You straight away in cross you can also cancel out. That is minus minus. That gives you plus and if we had any minus here and we have any minus here we can also cancel them but we don't have so in this step you could have directly written as the 5 is a 15 5 is a 15 and you can cancel out and the fastest approach that you are going to do in your later classes is straight away here you are going to cancel everything here and cross 3 get cancelled with 3 5 get cancelled with 5 and minus minus is plus so you are left with 1 itself in the first step this you are going to do in your later classes so this is one straight away so there are many ways of doing mathematics that is your third question fourth find the value of we are going to find the value of following rational numbers before solving these questions let's discuss the division process so the number from which you are dividing is called your dividend and in mathematics Dividend is also called as the money you receive as your profit when you invest your money in stock markets or any institutions of that kind, which you are going to study in your later classes. And divisor is the number which is written in the denominator of this dividend. And the question is by how much times that divisor can divide your dividend. So that was a revision of what you have studied in your previous standard. With this, we'll do this. But in case of fractions, we do it in slightly other way and that you have also studied in this exercise which we will try to explain in these questions as well so first is minus 4 well it is understood if nothing is written in the denominator it is understood as divided by 1 so we have written here for the explanation minus 4 over 1 as it is and while solving division in case of fractions or rational numbers you just flip your divisor so this is divisor here 2 by 3 is your divisor, you just flip it and convert the sign of division to multiplication. So here we have minus 4 over 1 as it is. Flip it, multiply and reciprocal. This is called reciprocal where numerator becomes denominator and denominator becomes numerator. We're just flipping both sides. So 3 over 2. Now we have cancelling opportunity. 1, 2 is a 2. Minus 2, 2 is a 4. Now 3, 2 is a 6. And minus plus is minus. Here we have 1 into 1. We need not to write that because it is understood. So that is your first, second, minus 3 by 5 as it is, convert it to multiplication and flip it. It was 2 by 1, understood, so it becomes 1 by 2. Now minus 3 into 1 is minus 3, 5 to the 10. Third, just write this rational number as it is. Convert it into multiplication, it is understood. Minus 3 over 1, it becomes 1 over minus 3. While flipping, minus 3 goes to denominator and this gets cancel out minus minus so 4 into 1 is 4 5 3 is a 15 fourth write this rational number as it is 
divide into multiplication flip the divisor that is 3 by 4 becomes 4 by 3 1 4 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 3 2 is a 6 that's your fourth fifth minus 2 over 13 as it is division to multiplication flip it it becomes 7 by 1 7 2 is a 14 minus plus is minus minus 14 13 into 1 is 13 sixth this as it is change it flip it 13 over minus 2 minus minus cancels so nothing can be cancelled 13 7 is a 91 well if you forget it 7 3 is a 21 2 is your carry 7 into 1 is 7 plus 2 is 9 91 over 12 2 is a 24 last one this as it is change it flip it 65 over minus 4 so 113 is a 13 513 is a 65 so 53 is a 15 and minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 and that minus 4 you have taken towards numerator because we are free to take it to any position if we have only one negative sign in the whole rational number so that is your seventh of a question number fourth